January 3rd, Bismarck firefighters responded to the Boulevard Avenue apartments for a call about carbon monoxide detectors going off. Five days later, the same call at the same complex. A member on the complex board of directors says those were the first instances there since the apartments opened. But a former tenant says that's far from true. Emmeline Ivey is here with more. Emmeline? Yeah, that's right, Alan and Monica. Nicole Herman says she was a resident at Boulevard Avenue Apartments from January to October last year. She says within that time, her carbon monoxide detectors went off multiple times each month. Herman says she contacted apartment maintenance, management, and even the executive director of the general partner, Brent Ekstrom, but got no solutions. She says she became sick, which she attributes to carbon monoxide poisoning. But when she contacted doctors, she was given no answers. I spoke with Ekstrom, who says he was never notified and tells a completely different story. Happy and healthy now, Nicole Herman is living at her parents' house with her five children. But a few short months ago, she says that was far from the case. We get woke up to this loud alarm. She says it was the carbon monoxide detectors in her unit, something that she says happened at least once a week during her stay from January to October. Each time it would go off, I kept, it made my anxiety worse, you know? and my, I'm freaking out and I, can't, I couldn't sleep at night and I'd be just worried that something was gonna happen to my kids and, and, it, it was, and I was getting even more stressed out and in panic when I'd tell the only person I knew to tell, which was management, and they wouldn't do anything about it. Along with the alarm sounding, she says there were bags over the detectors, which she felt would hinder the efficacy of the alarms. Herman says she communicated the issue to maintenance, management, and even the owner, but was told they were sounding due to debris from construction and to keep the bags on the detectors. But when Herman's apartment flooded from an unrelated issue, it connected her with Brent Ekstrom, who she believed to be the owner. He basically said the same thing that everybody else was saying. We have a lot of construction going on right now. They had these bags that were over top of the monitors to keep them away from debris. He asked me, did you remove the bag off of the monitor? I said, um, I think, I don't know, I think so. I think we did when we moved in. Well, that's probably why they're going off, because you removed the bag off the monitor. I showed Nicole a photo of Brent Ekstrom, the complex's executive director of the general partner, to make sure he was who she was referring to as the owner. She confirmed, but Ekstrom paints a different story. I have never had a resident contact management regarding carbon monoxide, period. Ekstrom says all staff know the protocol for carbon monoxide calls to tell residents to call the police. However, Herman provided this text message to management showing she did notify them on record at least once. She says there was no further follow-up or guidance. Ekstrom says there's a possibility it may have slipped through the cracks, but insists he was never informed. I have never been made aware by maintenance. Is, is it possible that, that maintenance did not inform me of something of, of course anything is possible but i as the as the general partner of this was has never been informed of any carbon monoxide issues until this happened by this ekstrom is referring to the two times bismarck fire department responded to carbon monoxide calls at the boulevard avenue apartments but that was after herman had already moved out our crews entered the building uh, at one point, they ended up getting a, uh, a hit or get a, got a um, found carbon monoxide. I believe they were uh, about 80 parts per million that they found on that. And then from there, uh, we started to make sure the building was evacuated. Deputy Chief Brooks Martin says the normal range for carbon monoxide is anywhere from zero to 10 parts per million. But prior to the calls, when Herman was still living there, she says she and her kids were getting progressively sicker. She says they were experiencing symptoms such as severe headaches, vomiting, and migraines, which doctors say are consistent with carbon monoxide poisoning. Probably the most common symptom that we see is headache. Um, and then we will see patients start to get nauseous and feel fatigue. As it progresses, they can start vomiting. Herman says she visited the doctor numerous times during or shortly after her time at the apartment. But after moving out in October of 2023, Herman says things changed for the better. You can literally see 
like, like them getting better and the color coming back to their skin. Today, Herman says her kids are all back to full health. We are going to be talking about the long-term effects that carbon monoxide can have. Now, she's spreading awareness through TikTok about the potential dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning.